Okay, boys and girls, when we're using our new iPads and our new Apple Pencils, we have to make sure we are super careful with both of these. My hands need to be clean. My surface of my table needs to be clean. And I need to make sure I'm lightly pressing this. I am not jamming this on our iPad screen. There's also a little spot that comes off to charge the Apple Pencil. We don't take this off ever, it stays on. Now, when we get into our app, Procreate, our art app, we're gonna scroll to the next screen here. It's the little black app with the little swirl rainbow. Click on that. When you open the app, you should open to this screen here. This is the home screen. And there are some projects people are working on, so don't touch any of these, unless it's yours. To start a new one, you're gonna click the plus mark, and it gives you some options of different sizes that you can work with. We're gonna be using the one that says paper, eight and a half by 11. So click that bottom one, and that will give you a nice, normal, long type of paper, horizontal. Now you can use your fingers on the screen or your Apple Pencil. So when I'm zooming in and out, I use my fingers because this is something you need two fingers for, to zoom in and out of your paper. So you can see things more detailed, zoomed in, or zoom out to see the whole picture. Now let's talk about some of the tools that you'll use with your Apple Pencil. So when I'm using my Apple Pencil, I can click on various tools. I can even draw with it. And that's why we have these, because they're great at digital drawing. So let's talk about text first. In the little tool button up here, there's a little um, wrench. And this is where you can add some things like photos and text. So I'm gonna add text. Text is something that we need because we're making a mural with a positive message. So I'm gonna type my positive, positive message. Mine is be creative. And I'm gonna say every day. Notice how I capitalized each letter. This is a title. So I'm gonna make sure everything is capital. And then I can go to edit style. That's the little blue button there, and that will allow me to change the font so the letters look how I want them to look. I can also change the color. I can make it bold. I can change the size with this. I can change the spacing. There's a whole bunch of things to experiment with here. So if I wanna change the color, I can change the color as well. The color picker is the little circle up here. And remember from our last app assembly, the middle part allows me to take the color and make it lighter, darker, or brighter. And the outside circle allows me to select what color I want. And then when I'm good, I'm gonna click off of that. And I'm gonna zoom out so I can see the whole picture. And I'm gonna take my Apple Pencil and put the text where I want it to go. So for me, I want it to be in the middle, the center of attention. And click done. Now for the rest of the picture, we can add some details, some designs, some patterns, some radial designs. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a layer. Layer is right here. I wanna add many layers every time I put a new design in. So I'm gonna click the plus mark. And this layer is something that I can edit without changing my font. So if I go to the brushes here, I can select some brushes and I can start drawing. So we'll just use a regular brush here to show some ideas. I can change the color of that. So if I have a pattern in the background, maybe it's a stripe pattern. Maybe I want to have a bigger brush here. So I can use that in the background to draw. And I'm not pressing too hard with my Apple Pencil, lightly. And I can sketch that in. I can change colors as well if I want to make a pattern. And keep sketching. So it's almost like you're drawing on your paper. It even looks kind of sketchy, depending on what brush you're using. And there's a ton of brushes to experiment with. There's paint brushes, there's pattern brushes. Um, some brushes will allow you to put spots and other designs, textures. I can even take this pattern if I wanted. I can color with that if I wanted a pattern design to be in the background. And notice how this layer is going on top of my text. What I can do if I want this to be behind the text is I can actually take this layer and pull it behind this layer of my text. So I just clicked on it and I dragged it. Now it's in front, now it's behind. So my text will always stand out if I keep that as the very first layer. And you can see it's labeled, be creative every day. That's how I know that's my text layer. And in this layer I can see, this is my paint layer. 
and I can keep adding. Now, what if I color the whole background with a pattern and I wanna add some shapes, some pattern designs to make this look a little bit more like a radial design? I'm gonna add a new layer. So now I can add some shapes. Now I could take a pencil or another type of brush that is similar to a marker pencil and I could draw some designs and shapes like maybe I want there to be a type of triangle pattern somewhere. But sometimes when I draw it, it doesn't be, it doesn't get very symmetrical. Like this triangle looks a little bit kind of sketchy. It's not very straight and precise like how you want it. So I'm gonna undo that. Click the back arrow down here, that's undo. And I'm actually going to do something like this. When I wanna make a straight line, I'm going to make my line and hold down. So do you see what happened there? When I held my Apple Pencil down, it allowed me to take this and drag it to make that straight line. So now I can make that line and then make a new one. So hold and drag and hold, and now it's straight. Drag and hold, and it becomes straight. So now I can do some straight geometric designs, or I could also draw some things if I didn't want it to be straight. So it's up to me how I put these patterns together. Now, let's say I wanted to draw something, but I didn't know how to draw it. And I wanted to maybe trace it. You can do that too. You can insert a photo. Now there's no photos on the iPad. I would have to go and go to Google and save a photo. So let's just say I wanted to draw a tiger or something. And I had that photo that I saved from Google. So now this photo is in its new layer because I just inserted it. I'm gonna make a new layer. And what I can do is I can trace over the tiger and make my own drawing. So let's just say I wanted to have a bright yellow tiger. I can zoom in and I can kind of start to trace. I'm gonna make my pencil bigger. This makes my pencil bigger. And I can kind of start to trace the things that I see. I'm not loving that brush. I think I'm gonna get a different one. That one might be too thick. I'm gonna make it smaller. So you can kind of see I'm gonna trace some designs here. And once I kind of get it how I like it, let's just imagine I trace the whole thing. Now watch, I can get rid of this layer. Slide, delete, and I just have my drawing. So I can start to make my own drawings like that. So there are a ton of things you can do in Procreate. It's a very complex app. So there's no way I can show you everything. But if you're stuck on something, you need to know how to use a tool, you're not sure what one of the tools does, come up to the check-in table and I'll go over all these questions with you. Okay, I'm gonna go back to gallery and it will automatically save and I can get it next week by just clicking on it. So I don't have to click any save button, it just automatically saves. When I'm done with my Apple Pencil, I carefully place it into the side of the iPad, go back to the home screen and I close the iPad. All right, let's get started.